Hey everyone, it's MGems here. Welcome back to episode 4 of season 2 of The Walking Dead. In the last episode, we lost Carlo, Sarah's dad, and that really sucked because he was such a good guy and he was the only doctor that we had, so I don't know how Sarah's going to respond to that. That's what I'm really worried about this episode. And also, one of our big choices last time was whether to cut Sarita's arm off when she got bit by a walker in that final scene, and I chose not to. Um, she was pretty much doomed either way, I feel like, but I feel like chopping the arm off just would have been excruciating for her and painful for us to watch as well. So I am really nervous about how Kenny's going to respond to that, if he's going to blame us, or I don't even know. I have no idea what to expect with this episode, but man, we're really getting into it now. Uh, episode four, there's only two episodes left in the season, so... Yeah, oh my gosh, uh, I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen next, and also kind of scared, so with that, let's get into it. I'm also really interested to see where we're going to end up this episode. Oh my god, amid the ruins. Clementine? Are you okay? Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. We also didn't trust Bonnie, and I feel bad about it. No! No! He killed that guy, though, Stop so like. Me! Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Let's go. That's not the Kenny I know in there. I thought I could save him. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I have the volume really loud. Oh, we're starting off here straight away. Oh god! I'm dead. I'm dead! You have to stay calm. The lotus doesn't matter. I'm big. hand too can we just cut off the hand maybe it's spread up the arm by now Oh my god, wait, where's the thing? Oops, sorry Clementine. I couldn't find the cursor on the screen. Okay, we're fine. Clementine is like small, so she's less likely to get shot. I think we should probably keep quiet. Stop. I can't find 
anybody. I know. What do we do? I'm almost with you, but... I can't do this alone. We should try to find them. We know where we're supposed to be. We just need to get there. Look! The walkers are still moving toward the harbors. We can make it out if we stick to... We gotta wait, get away from the guns, like... We can make it through the walkers. Do you see any openings? Anything? Find a way through. Oh. Oh, well, you know, okay. <laughs> that lady moved in my path. Right there, come on! <laughs> Sorry, Clem. Oh, I had to be faster. Like most times I die in this game. Anything? Go. Right there. Damn it. Go back. Go back. Ah! Oh, hi. Jane. Jane. Thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk slowly. You'll be fine. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. Oh we'll man. Be fine. She's no, panicking though. You, understand. Just... you guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. Yeah, I'm small. I'm like a half person. So it'll be fine. <laughs> She's not gonna leave us. Cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just all we need. A what? You'll see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. I'm sorry, what are we doing? asked what we were doing. <laughs> I have no idea. Not gonna bite anybody now, are you? Oh my god, you're smart. Stay close. I never would have thought to do that. Behind, I can't come back for you. Don't fall behind, okay. This is as fast as I can move. Oh, this is so freaky. Don't touch me. Damn, she knows what she's doing. Let's go. We might be okay if we have her on our side. I hope Nick's okay. He got shot. I think it was just in the shoulder, but still, he's gonna need medical attention. Amid the ruins. Okay, I wonder where we're going now. I hope Rebecca's gonna be okay. I'm so worried about her. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. 
Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I don't think fighting is good stop. right now. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. We're walking way faster than the walkers anyway. <laughs> oh. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything? Thing about no, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry, just making conversation. It was nothing. No, what do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean, it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? And we'll look after it, together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. Yeah, but it's and a baby. Assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? Okay, this is this is I don't escalating. Need your pity. You don't. You don't have the right. Jane. Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? <sighs> Damn it. Oh, everyone's so quick to anger in this game, and that's what causes so many problems, I feel like. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Ken and he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Not surprising. Oh, God damn it. Poor Kenny. I hate to say it. Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. But it's the one that's gotta be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. Just let me talk to him first. It's alright, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. Oh god. What's with the music? Do you hate me? You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone. To say goodbye. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? 
Uh. Okay, he's scaring me now. I don't like any of these options. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. That's good, right? Oh god. Everyone's scared. I don't want to say I tried to save her. Enough, I didn't. I've had enough of this bullshit. Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going oh, crazy man. just sitting here not doing anything. I wanted to be there for him, time, but Mike. it's still early. Clem, how'd it go? About as good as you would expect with Kenny. I don't know if he's really mad at me. It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's a rat. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike. Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way or the other. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Yeah, honestly, Kenny's kind of scaring me right now. Like, I don't really know what he would do. I don't think he would hurt Clementine, but like, as for the others, who knows? He doesn't know any of them. I find it kind of funny that all the adults trust 11-year-old Clementine, I'm though, level with you. to, like, keep them safe. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. Yeah, we've seen it before, too. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start... Turning on each other? Turning on you? These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's... situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister, Jamie, had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could've.
Should I ask about what happened? May no, maybe not. I always wanted a sister. I it doesn't really matter what happened. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. <laughs> I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> These walkers got some good stuff. I thought that was the motor in for a second. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Okay, fair enough. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Ew. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. I feel like I would not be able to be alone in this sort of, like, apocalyptic world. Like, I would just go crazy if I was completely on Find my own. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Did we kill this walker? <laughs> Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit Every in crew, there, yes. <laughs> you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. I jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> you can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Oh, the eyes are so creepy. Sarah's glasses? These glasses. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. What? You don't know that? I don't know what to tell you. She could be hiding. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no. It's Nick. No. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. 
I tried to save him so many times. I'm sorry, Nick. That sucks. <laughs> Can at least make it fast, Clementine. Ugh. Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. Oh man, that, that sucks. hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. Did she have two of those, or does she not have one now? Okay, just calm down. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. Okay, we're in. What now? Start by getting a better I look. Help you if you, I, I can't help you if you don't. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Leave me alone! Okay. I'll try not to die again. <laughs> We're not used to using this as a weapon, is the thing. Nice work. You know what you're doing. I can't. I can't. Now watch I can't. this. I can't. Got a nice little What is going to on over there? Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've we got on deck. Thank you. It's gonna take some work to get over there. What do you mean? Oh gosh. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. I don't Maybe think we can the get back. them to move. <laughs> Let's see if we can find anything over there. Okay. Uh oh. I didn't see that one there. Or I thought it was dead. Trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And <laughs> what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, sounds good enough I'm to me. You. Good. It's not like I know what to do. <laughs> What's going to grab their attention? Like a car horn or something? I got you covered. Why would I hit that? Keep it going somehow. Really, that's not enough to attract them when, like, sometimes one gunshot will keep them coming. 
That's so weird. Okay. Okay. Just calm down. Maybe I do have to do something with the barricade then. What do you want me to do? Maybe you guys should stop yelling at each other. It's not helping. Yeah, it does look pretty strong. Okay, it's gotta be something further away that we need, right? I mean, do we even know that we're gonna be able to, like, get through that trailer? Is that where I'm supposed to go, actually? We can get around this way, but if we don't oh, okay. get those walkers to move, we're not getting very far. Come on! What are you thinking? Oh yeah, just like lay him down on it. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. I mean, I feel like Jane and Clementine would be a pretty good team. Like, they'd be able to survive and keep each other safe. We should have just hey, went back. You guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Uh, hurry! Great, now we're all trapped in here. Oh my gosh. Help me block this. Hurry! Wait, where are they? Where's Sarah and Luke? There. Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He, he made a run for it. Looking for help. He doesn't know. I, I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, are you all right? Uh, I'm walking. Can't do much else though. Sarah. Did you get shot too? She's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Is she hurt or is she just freaking out because like her dad died and stuff? Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. Sarah, come on. We have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Yeah. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. She's just in shock, her, probably. I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Yeah, we should talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to me. I think she trusts me now. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've 
been trying for hours. I We're not going to leave her. Clem? Sarah, it's me. We are not leaving her. Hi. Would she want a hug? I don't know. She might not like you it. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Oh, God, I'm scared. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Come on, Sarah. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Please, I don't want anyone else to die. Refrigerator? Box. Can we use this? It's not big enough. Um... Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Oh my gosh. I hope nothing happens to Jane. I'm so worried. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go! Go! Keep pushing! Go! First, we need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Oh my now, god, come on. Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. Oh my god, come on. No, please. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> Screw oh, it! Move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! Oh my god, Jane. Come on, Jane. gotta go. Sarah. Come on. Oh my god, I thought Sarah was gonna die. Sorry I had to slap you, but like, better than you dying. Oh my god, that was so stressful. I was freaking out. Oh. I mean, she's probably gonna be in a bad state mentally, but at least she's not dead. Uh, uh, okay. 
Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. If I had left Sarah, like, she would have died, right? Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's oh, just she's trying to at least are. get me it's out. okay. I get it. I don't blame her. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. Yeah, I know. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on, let's get back to your friends. I mean, it's kind of true, like, you can't always save people who don't want to be saved, and, like, in this sort of setting, like, I'm not surprised that people would feel completely hopeless and helpless at times. Son of a bitch. You found him! Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, Where is mentioned Kenny? Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? I don't know. He could try. <laughs> At this point... I'd take anyone who's even been in a delivery room. And that just leaves... Kenny. He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't Probably seen him not. Since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. 
I really do think that might be best. <sighs> well, I'm pretty sure of one thing, and it's that Kenny is not going to be happy to see me and probably not want me to be in there, honestly. I'm also really worried about the fact that, like, Kenny seems to be in a really bad spot, but, like, so is everybody else. And with emotions running that high between, like, pretty much everybody in the group, like, it is kind of a recipe for disaster. And I kind of get what Jane is saying, like, I don't think it's better to be on your own in this sort of setting, honestly, but, you know, we're a complicated bunch. <laughs> so, okay, I'm scared. Please don't yell at me. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I'm sorry, Kenny. You know what it feels like. To get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. Oh, it was God. like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating every day. Duck. I know, gotcha. man. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Kenny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true, man. That's not true. You help me all the time I need you <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together but uh, thanks for saying that now nah, don't worry yourself about this it's nothing hadn't killed me yet anyway it looks like it must hurt Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Is she having the baby right now? We should see what's going on. Oh. Bye, Sarita. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Her Rebecca's water break? Water broke. Mm. Is that normal? <laughs> oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What should we do first, Kenny? I'm Kenny, trying to make sure that on, he feels like focus. he's helping, like he's useful. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? 
Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without Like, her. sort of, though. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? I should Don't check worry. on Sarah, shouldn't I? Everything's gonna be fine. I wanna check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. But did I miss my chance to go with Jane? Because something could happen to her if she's alone. If she decides to take off, whatever. Like, it's her choice. She's not... She didn't hey, say she Sarah, was you know, Rebecca in the group for started, good. They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Um... I should be honest, shouldn't I? Oh, Sarah, God. your dad. You know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. Like, I kind of want to go with Mike and Bonnie, because I've already been with Jane a lot, but I'm kind of worried about Jane being on her own. I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. Like, obviously she can take care of herself, but like, I don't know. I just saw the way over there. Is she just sitting there? Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. You know, you don't seem okay. Huh? Well, yeah. But who is okay? Let's just focus on this right now. Okay, something's going on with I her. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Maybe she does want to join the group. She said it's nice having someone watch your back. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe this will work. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh... It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. 
See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Okay. But then if we break it, like... Find anything? No, not even trash. Won't it, like, not be able to lock and then it doesn't, like, really protect us? When will it end this cruel, cruel war? Probably never, unfortunately. Oh, I can't go in there? Every time I, I look through a broken. telescope in this game, something bad happens. That should be a lesson. Don't ever look through telescopes. You'll just see something you don't want to see. Oh, a cannon. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Um, Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around. Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. We can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets. In the we don't even know who it is, though. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. And he's injured. Shit. Hide now. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. It never really stops anybody in this game, though, honestly. Who are you? I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Маленькая девочка. Little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. I feel kind of bad for this guy, like he wasn't doing anything wrong. No, I have no more guns! I swear to we you! We just need him. Oh, shit. Anything? We could use that. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please! This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, Ibe we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. 
Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must we don't believe don't a fucking take warrior it. about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. You cannot take those from me. Why You're couldn't we just take them? some? I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bush. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Can we just have, like, one bottle of painkillers? Jane. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Oh man, I thought he was dead. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should well, go get everyone else. We're all desperate. Yeah. Okay, I'm worried about her now, though. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. I'm hoping that, um, because we chose not to steal that, that that guy is gonna, like, be merciful later on if we run into him again. And whether he's lying or Clem. not, it wasn't Clem, ours hey. to take. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Maybe I shouldn't have told Shit. him, actually. This is the last thing we need right now. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but... At the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, just plain out done like me. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Well, we're not going to leave him. I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. Even now he's trying to help. I know he's your friend and all. But what Kenny did to Carver, it sounded like he beat right through the corpse and into the floor. Is that where we are now? Kenny did go too far. It made me uncomfortable. There's still hope for you then. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Oh man, I'm still so conflicted about Kenny because it's just like the empathetic side of me. Just like I want to help him, I want to save him, but I don't think that he I'm not can be, to be saved. Labor yet, Kenny? What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. But he's still trying to help right now. You know, after everything. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. And he doesn't even know these people. 
Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. Is something gonna happen to Mike and Bonnie? How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. Yeah, you're so nice to me now. Glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them. But I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Oh my gosh, is this baby, like, really gonna make it? Is Rebecca really gonna make it? Like, I don't know. I want them to be okay so badly. Can we chat first? Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? How are you feeling, Rebecca? I knew it was gonna hurt, Clint. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. Oh god, I can't even imagine. If Mike and Bonnie are dead, I swear to god, I can't take any more. Oh, Sarah, I forgot about her. Did I just miss an opportunity to talk to her? Oh no. Hey, Clem. Oh, they're okay. I thought you Good. went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a, a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Oh, that's nice. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'm I sure something side. will. You watch the other. Deal. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Right? But that could be useful. If we're trying to distract or something. Oh, a coat. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh. oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Eh, it's the apocalypse. All bets are off, right? <laughs> it's gotta do what you gotta do. Lee would have loved this place. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? 
Oh, you don't know <laughs> what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Clementine just, like, mentions Lee, like, right when you're not expecting it. It just, like, hits you so hard in the feelings. <laughs> there have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Uh, water cooler, but no water, right? Oh, there's one in there. Empty. I find that very hard to believe. Because water would be the first thing you'd be searching for. Any luck? No, in an apocalypse. not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. You guys really didn't see that in there? <laughs> I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Well, that's depressing, Mike. Over here. Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Why does this seem weird and suspicious all of a sudden? I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... Well, me. that happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. I do not like when people go off on their own. Can I even carry this? Like, I can barely, barely carry those one of those jugs of water, so like, I'd be su pretty surprised if Clementine hey, can. I got this. Damn, dude. And that looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's alright. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy. But at least his shells are always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. Okay, we can use a little positivity right now, Mike. I just you guys just left the water there. The place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat Ooh. raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Um, Where is it? Isn't it gonna, like, bite me? I think it went over there. There he is! He's coming your way! Block him! Oh! Oh, shit! Grab it! Oh my god. He's too fast! Shit! I, I was on him and I pressed Dang it! it. <laughs> Come on! Not with the walkers out there. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't kill it. 
I'm even hungrier than I was before. No, it had babies. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> Shit, shit, oh god! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Great, god. good timing. Oh god! Oh no! Oh. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Why didn't you guys leave? Shit! And go Walk. to the place. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke! Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. Um, <laughs> Sarah. Gotta get out of here. Mike, get Sarah. On it. More important than the water. Sarah, get going. Damn, that sucks. There, Kenny, you can let your rage out now. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that, that is him. Let's go, please. He's doing it to protect us. Sure, but... Maybe I should just like get the water and then we could have gotten Sarah or something. I don't know. <laughs> Mike, you're strong. Just carry Rebecca. It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Really, you guys? Time. Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Uh, What's going on? Well, uh. I thought they were I just mean, talking. They're, they weren't just here. talking. Let's get you comfortable. <laughs> okay. What the fuck are you two doing up oh, here? Oh, no. Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need I everyone out here. Sarah, stay out of the way. Outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Okay, you better, Kenny. Here. We can't let them up here. Sarah should really be in there. Not out here. about how this is all gonna go. Oh, shit. oh I didn't expect what that though. Going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh shit! <gasps> Jane! Sarah, hang on! Fuck! Fuck! Hurry! I can't hold on! Help me! Help! 
Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up. It's suicide. Just pull me up. Please, Clementine. We can't leave her without even trying. Just go! Uh, come on, Jane. You're smart. You can save her. Oh God, is she gonna be okay. crushed under that though? Even motivated to do this right now. <laughs> I'm so upset. This ain't working. Um, yeah, that ain't gonna work. It's too thick. I didn't realize that was a timed thing. I was very distracted by the fact that Sarah just died in that terrible way. Sorry, guys. Ugh, I'm so upset. Look! That'll work! We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game. I was just on the verge of crying. That was so cruel. Why would you do that? This game just like kills everyone off one by one. Like, you can't expect that anyone will ever survive. Yeah. We lost someone, but hey, we also Clementine. gained someone. Hey, how's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Just don't look at it. Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Sure. Could I? Of course. We're family here. Oh, we're family. Shh, shh. There you go. You're a natural. 
Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Uh, about two years ago. I'm fine. But somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets her beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Aww. Okay, what is going on with Jane? I'm really curious. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Come on. The longer I stay, the harder it'll be. Go. Go where? Just... away. Okay? You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not gonna stick around and... watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But... I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. I think I get it. She doesn't want to get attached and then Listen, just watch people when she the shit hits the fan, about die. Because it always does. Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. It's not really It'll true. make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. But when push comes to shove... I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe. Looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I gotta go. I mean, if she wants to leave, like... She can leave. Oh, Luke. He's probably gonna be sad hey, about it. Thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. She could have at least said goodbye to him, though, you know? What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. 
We gotta push on. We head north. Get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. She like just gave birth though. Clem's like she's point. gonna need that some time. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Are you really mad at me for saying that a woman that just gave birth should rest for a couple days, dude? Like, really? Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be alright. You do not have to apologize, girl. <laughs> like, a few of us could go check the town out and see if there's anything even there. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to snow that much. Or be this cold. <sighs> oh gosh, she should you not be carrying the baby. She's exhausted. We all are. Keep going. She looks very sick. We should have left right away instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and Don't been stop. someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You oh, gotta you two are annoying up. me. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done. Like always. Keeping people alive. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. <sighs> He's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. Why don't I take the Back baby? Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? I knew we'd see him again. Minas Lishna! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? I don't know. He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. I don't know, it seems suspicious. <sighs> Alright. The last time I thought something was suspicious, it wasn't, but like... Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? 
No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? Oh, it wasn't Jane. me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane, where's the other woman? What's going on? There were two before. Not here. I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. They're hiding. I know that they're hiding. Hey, hey, hey. Oh no, oh no. This could be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! Слушай, Арфо, почему они не слушают? You think saying we have a baby will help? Тогда старайся сильнее. We have a baby! You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking... Don't move! I said don't move! They want us to die yet? Everybody in the pool! It doesn't have to go down like that! Buriko! Buriko! Stop! Stop the gun! Why are you shooting? I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Don't make me do it! Look at me! Do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to! No! Oh no. Maybe I sh I didn't know they would all start shooting if I shot her. Oh no. But if I didn't call for help. Oh my god. Okay, that could have been really bad. Like it had crossed my mind that maybe she had gotten bit and she was turning cuz she kind of looked that way. But like I didn't think that she would endanger the baby that way. Oh my god. Most people left Sarah at the trailer park. Wow. Um, pretty split for robbing Arvo. Completely split for crawling through the ticket booth. Most people held the baby. Damn it, most people didn't shoot Rebecca. Damn it. Oh, oh, damn. This episode... Oh my god. Oh, you guys, this episode... I feel so awful right now, like... I feel like I made such a big mistake shooting Rebecca. But I don't know, maybe it would have been the, kind of the same outcome if I had called for help. I mean, either way, she had to die. I'm just really worried about with all the shots that we heard, like, who else got shot? Who else is dead? And... I kind of had this feeling like something was gonna happen to either Rebecca or the baby. Or both. So I'm not that surprised that that happened to her. But like, how did it happen to her? When did she get bit? Cause she started feeling unwell and then it had been a couple of days. Like, I thought you turned faster than that. Also, Sarah died, and I'm really upset about that because I literally did everything that I could to save her. Not even just in this episode, but like before, I tried to befriend her, and then I tried to like teach her how to defend herself, and it all just ended up being for nothing. And she tried so hard at the end to save herself too, like before she was just willing to sit there and die, and then in the end she, she was trying to fight for her life, but she couldn't. She needed someone else 
down there to help, and like, I wish I had been given the option to jump down and pull her out. Because then we all could have possibly gotten away. That sucks. Oh, I know this game isn't afraid to kill kids, but like, I really thought that maybe she had a chance. I'm so upset about it. Nick also died this episode, and honestly, I wasn't that attached to him, so it's not as emotional, but it still sucks that he had to fully turn into a walker, but I am glad that we found him and we were able to kill him and put him out of that misery of being a zombie. I have no idea what to expect with the final episode, but I'm pretty sure that whoever survives and whoever and whatever is left of the group, it's just gonna be a total disaster. Like, I think everyone is just gonna be a complete wreck. If Kenny and Luke live, they're gonna probably try to kill each other because it's already not going well between the two of them. I mean, no one is safe in this game, so I can't even try to guess who may have survived that. And I'm worried that, like, it doesn't even matter what I do, that whoever is gonna die is gonna die, or everyone's gonna die, and we're gonna start season three off with just Clementine again. I'm just so sad after this episode. Like, I'm really sad. And I'm really worried about the finale because it's probably gonna be even worse because they have to do that. <laughs> they have to end the season off being, you know, even more emotional and all that. Um, I wonder if something's gonna happen to Kenny in the, in the final part. I kind of feel like it's going that way. Well, let me know what you guys thought about episode four down in the comments. I really want to talk to you guys more about it. I want to know what the other outcomes were and what choices you guys made because I feel like I made bad choices, but I also always kind of feel that way. So um, yeah, I just, I need to know more about what happened and what could have happened, but please don't leave any spoilers for the next episode, the finale, because I definitely want to be fully surprised for that. And I'll probably also be horrified and really upset. But anyway, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.